Our job is to bash the president. That's what we do. That's Evan Thomas two years ago, the editor of Newsweek. And here's Evan Thomas today. In a way, Obama's standing above the country, above above the world. He's sort of God. He's, he, yeah. he's going to bring all different sides together. Okay, I guess, I guess he's had a, a change of heart. I guess it's not his job to bash the president anymore, right, Evan? Okay, when we come back, the kid uh, who smoked a joint during a high school presentation at Peninsula High School, he now has spoken out and explained why he did what he did. And he has a lot of fans, an awful lot of fans, who are supporting what he did. I'll tell you what he had to say about it up next on the Dory Monson Show. <laughs> Last week we told you about this 17-year-old at Peninsula High School down in Gig Harbor. He was given a speech... At his high school, they have an event called Rhetoric Revels, where certain students are asked to produce a persuasive speech. And then they invite uh, about 150 other students to come down to the auditorium, and they get to watch these speeches. Well, this 17-year-old kid, and we now know his name, it's Ian Barry. Ian says that he's been smoking dope since he was 12 years old, and that he is a supporter of legalizing marijuana. So Ian Barry gave a speech about how marijuana doesn't deserve its negative stigma and should be legalized. And so he's given the speech. It was uh, 15 pages. He was about six or seven minutes into the speech. And that's when... About midway through the speech, he pulled out a joint, lit it up, and took a few puffs right there on stage. According to the Tacoma News Tribune, they interviewed this this kid. Uh, he read the first seven pages of his 15-page speech. Before he turned to the eighth page, he pulled out the joint that was hidden in his dreadlocks. He lit up took a toke, and then read the rest of his speech, occasionally stopping to take a puff. There was a huge cheer when I lit up, he recalled. And in the speech, which lasted 12 minutes, he talked about medicinal benefits for marijuana, its undeserved reputation of being harmful. When he was done with his speech, he walked backstage, took a few more hits, and then he ate the little bit that remained of the joint. Ian Barry, he's 17 years old. Uh, we're told that he's a junior at the high school. I haven't independent, but a student told me that last week. He has a 3.7 grade point average. And here's what he's told the News Tribune about this, uh, the puffs that he took that you know became nationwide news last week. He said, quote, I see myself as someone who holds himself to a high moral value. I stand up for what I believe in. As Sir Isaac Newton said, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. I don't think there would have been another way I could have gotten this reaction. And he said that he did it because he wanted to get a huge reaction. Well, mission accomplished. Uh, he was arrested. He was sent to uh, Juvie Hall. He was oust kicked out of school on an emergency expulsion. Ian says he fully accepts his punishment. He faces misdemeanor charges of unlawful drug possession. He knows this will go on his record. He says that um, he understands. He's been praised by some and condemned by others for being stupid. And I'll repeat, if you weren't listening last week when I talked about this, I'll, I'll repeat real quickly. Uh I like rebels, you know. I I kind of rebel against a lot of things on my show. Having said that, you got to pick your spots. And especially if you if you are a 17-year-old and you've invested a lot of time and energy into your education and you're looking at, at your future, the I think he did this 
to get a brief shot at fame. I don't think he did it to inspire a dialogue, as he claims. I don't think he did it for any reason other than he wanted a 15-second burst of laughter and applause from the 150 kids who were there, and he got it. And he wanted attention, and he got it. Those are fleeting. The downside of this could be rather impactful on his life. And I don't tell my kids they always have to toe the line, but I tell them you always have to weigh risk versus reward. And I think this is a stupid thing to do for a 17-year-old. The downside is so much greater. And, and I'm not saying you shouldn't do things if there's a downside. I'm saying if the downside is so much exponentially greater than whatever benefit, You better think pretty carefully about it. I think it was a stupid thing for him to do. I don't think it's courageous, but a lot of people do. A lot of people think that he was was just living his beliefs. Okay, so now that we've heard the quote from the kid, I wanted to give you a chance. By the way, I have posted on my blog, somebody had a 30-second cell phone video of him lighting up. I've posted that. Go to MyNorthwest.com, the Dory Monson show page. You can see what Ian did during this assembly. But I want to know from you, now that you've heard his description of it, uh, moron or was it courageous to stand and smoke a joint in front of his school? Uh, during school hours, 888 Cairo, 888 You can also instant message me, MyNorthwest.com, the Dory Monson Show page. Click on the Comcast inbox. What do you think of Ian Barry's smoking a joint in the assembly? 888 Cairo, your phone calls are coming up. I'm Tony Miner, News Talk 97.3, Cairo FM. Now back to Dance and Dory Monson. You know what? I I just realized something. Another reason we're not posting this, Tom. I really have to see this video. No, you don't. Um, if the girls that I coach, the basketball girls, if they ever yeah. saw this, it, as a coach, you have to command a certain amount of respect. Uh, I, there's no way I could command respect from anybody who saw it. It can't be that bad. No, it no. can't be. Here's there the, you go. Here's the song we were dancing. Give to. us a little sample there in the studio. No. Oh, this is oh, this is the theme. Yeah, we're dancing to the Black Eyed Peas song. I'll, I'll, I'll describe it for you. Okay. This is the song we're dancing to. Um, it, it was step right, step right, while you throw your left arm out. Step left, step left, while throw your right arm out. Uh, pick the apple. Throw the candlesticks. Hop, hop. All right. I, I believe you, man. You look stiff just sitting down. So... Don't try any dancing in the studio. Spread the frosting, spread the frosting, scratch the record right, scratch the record left. Boom, boom. Got to get a copy of the video. Wait up. All right, uh, let's get your phone calls on the Peninsula High School kid. You know what? I'll, I'll tell you, I'd have to either do what the Peninsula High School kid was doing on stage to uh d- to get out and do this in front of people or i'd have to have whatever this gal had and on cairo seven if it bleeds it leads <laughs> that might, I, got, I got an email from a listener who said you know forget about waterboarding terrorists just you want to get truth and honesty out of these uh these guys just give them whatever she had <laughs> Okay, uh, let's get back to your phone calls. Peninsula High School, uh, Ian Barry's the young man who was emergency expelled from school for smoking a joint in the middle of his speech about marijuana being legalized. A courageous act or a stupid act? Oh, and I've got one line open. Holy criminy. 888 Cairo. 888 Dean in Stillicum. Hey, Dean, you're on News Talk 97.3 Cairo FM. Good afternoon, Dory. How are Hello. you? I'm very well, sir. Well, as I've said and as applied to me when I was his age, initiative is squandered on use. <laughs> uh, the, the problem was his plan was that the only people that were cheering and yelling were people that were already on his side, and those aren't the people that he needs to convince. He needs to convince the middle-of-the-road, narrow-minded, closed-minded establishment, Yes. and the only way he's going to convince them is through an appeal to their logic and to their sense of what's right and wrong. And he can do that with all of the stuff he said about, you know, the values of marijuana.